hey beautiful people once more welcome back to this channel so we are on our 12 days of christmas makeup challenge and i've already started the video by just applying this foundation uh first and what i'm doing is that i want to create a primer or a base for my makeup so i'm just applying this maybelline superstay foundation as i was saying guys this is day four of the christmas makeup challenge and uh today we're going to be inspired or we have been inspired by christmas candy and as you can see after applying the powder foundation we are going to set to apply some setting spray all over our face and then make sure that it has dried down completely before we proceed with our makeup so make sure to like comment and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because guys i have 12 days of christmas makeup and we are only on day four so stay tuned make sure you watch all my videos and yeah let's proceed so what i've done with my eyebrows is that i've just filled them in with a dark brown eye pencil and i've also brushed them with a, a eyebrow spoolie and then right now i'm just going to use the rimmel uh, wonderful brow gel it's a clear brow gel and i'm just going to like apply it on top of those eyebrows and then after that uh, after i've made sure that i they're you know nice and dry I'm going to take this uh, LA Gal Pro Conceal Concealer which is in the shade Fawn and I'm going to take a little bit on a brush and I'm just going to define my eyebrows by applying the, the concealer on top and below my eyebrows so that they can be more visible on my skin tone. And then after that is when we'll proceed with the makeup. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of that LA Gal Concealer again, the same shade which is Fawn, and I'm going to apply it on my eyelids and it's going to act as an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer. So it's going to make sure that the eyeshadow sticks onto the skin and, you know, doesn't fall out or disappear. Yeah, so it's it's actually good for the eyeshadow if you do have an eyeshadow base. So the concealer can act as an eyeshadow base. And then now it's time for foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to be using two foundations. The first one that you saw is the, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. That's the shade 9N. And then the other one that you saw in a dropper is the L'Oreal uh, True Match Plumping Serum, which is like a serum foundation. Uh, and that is the shade uh, 7 to 8, which is tan deep, I believe. And I've mixed the two. And as you can see, I've gotten a really pretty good shade for my skin tone. I've never really come across my actual, actual shade. I mean, it's hard because uh, most of our skin is like in patches of color. So it's kind of hard to get one that will just perfectly match your skin. Uh, so we are just applying with a damp beauty blender and then now we've finished applying with the damp beauty blender and we are proceeding to concealer and for concealer i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer and that is the shade number 50 and i'm just using it to brighten my under eyes and my mouth and this is a common step that i do in very many of my videos but in case you are joining me for the first time it's always good and prudent to just repeat the steps you know and then i'm just going to dump uh dab 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 that with a damp beauty blender also and as i said i never use two or three beauty blenders in a beauty routine uh, i use one side for foundation and i'll use the other side for concealer so that being said we are now on our nose and this is the nyx highlight and contour stick that i've just used the highlight part to like highlight my nose and i'm also using this concealer this dark brown concealer to just contour my nose
so for eyeshadow i just want to do a very very light eyeshadow uh basically my normal skin tone just to set the you know the what is it called the concealer that i applied on my eyes and i'm also going to set my face and i'm not setting my entire face i'm only setting the areas that i had applied concealer and also like to contour my nose further but i'm generally setting my under eyes all the areas that had applied the the concealers that i applied so which is like on the under eyes around my mouth and all those areas and i decided to do this because i realized that i was starting to do my eye makeup before setting the concealer which is really wrong it helps prevent the concealer from creasing so i'm back on my eyes and what i'm doing right now is that i'm using this maybelline kajal uh, to just line my waterline it's been a while since i used kajal on my eyes uh, and then i'm also going to use uh, this zaron cosmetics eyeliner and i really love this eyeliner eyeliner it's really long lasting and it's really really black so I'm just using it to create a winged like cut eye. It's also been a while since I did a cut eye. So I think this is the opportune time. Uh, the reason being on my cheeks, I'm going to draw the candies all across my cheeks. So I want a really simple eyeliner look that's not going to overwhelm my face. And that is the reason I've gone for a simple cut eye and just a plain eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to dab across my cheeks some powder blush. This is a very light, lightly colored powder blush. It's pink, but it's not very deep. And uh, then after applying the powder blush, I'm just going to take this, you know, and a pencil and as usual, draw the outlines because that is how I prefer to do my makeup. Um, some people prefer just to go directly with paints and all that, but I just feel like a pen or something up pencil makes my hand more steady so i prefer to draw the outlines first and we are drawing the christmas candies essentially so my camera may not be all that great so you might not see the details but it's christmas candy I've also decided to throw in some Christmas freckles which are green and black so I'm just putting a little bit of green spots and dark spots just to tie the candy so that they just don't look like they're hanging in the air on my face and then we'll proceed to do our lips after this step Okay, so for this next step, as usual, I've lined my lips with a dark brown pencil. And then I'm going to be applying this Maybelline um, Mattifying Lipstick. Superstay, sorry. Maybelline Superstay Lipstick. And it is in the shade Short Color. This is one of the reddest lipsticks I honestly own. I don't think I have any lipstick redder than this. And um, I'm just going to apply the this 
uh, illegal pro conceal concealer just to brighten around the lips again and then i'm going to apply setting powder and then we'll put on our wig don't forget to like comment and subscribe